Kyle said as the Skype call started. Immediately after Kyle spoke, thoughts started rushing through my head. More specifically, thoughts about the potential dangers of letting Kyle come over to talk to Edeled. I know that Kyle had every intent to destroy the Wii, and I still have every intention to stop him from doing that. But, I also want to learn more about Edeled, and have a better understanding of him. Sam, are you there? Kyle asked. I didn't respond. Uh, okay. I'll just hang up now. Kyle announced. This was when I finally spoke. I want you to come over! I said in a rush. There was a long pause. You want me to come over? Why exactly? I want you to talk to Edeled. I want to have a better understanding of him, and the way he reacts to situations and how he deals with it, I responded. Well, what does that have to do with me? Well, Edelette does hate you, right? And I want to know how he would react when he sees someone he hates after a long time, I explained. Well, sure, I guess. I could tell that with him agreeing this quickly, he's currently plotting something. He's planning to destroy the Wii the first chance he gets. I just know it. So, before he could say anything else, I began to explain the rules. Okay. But, just so you know, you're not allowed to bring anything with you, I blurted out. Why? Because I will not allow you to destroy the Wii, I replied. After agreeing to some rules, I gave Kyle my address and he said he would be right there. I hung up. I got up from my bed and started organizing everything in my room. I was going to have Kyle stand at the very back of my room while he talks to Edeled, and I moved any object that Kyle could potentially destroy the Wii with. Once that was done with, I waited for Kyle to come over. But then, after about 15 minutes, the Wii turned on. I walked up to my TV and turned it on, and saw Edelet standing in the Me channel. Sam, why are you telling Kyle to come over? Edelet asked. I just want you guys to talk, that's all, I explained. Edelet was very hesitant to talk to Kyle. But then I managed to convince him to talk to him. Well, just make sure he doesn't destroy the Wii. Don't worry, I won't let him. I promise, I replied. Edelet turned around. Oh, and Sam? If I lash out at Kyle, I'm sorry. Edelet stated. I was going to reply, but then I heard the doorbell ring. I opened the door and saw Kyle. Come in, I quietly said. Now, before I let Kyle into my room, I made him swear that he will not destroy the Wii. I made him pull his pockets inside out to make sure he did not have any items. Eventually, I let him into my room and made Kyle stand at the very back of my room. This was when I noticed that the environment of the Me channel turned dark. Kyle, nice to see you here. Edeled stated in a serious tone. It's been a long time, Edeled. Kyle replied. Kyle, what do you remember about me? Well, I remember deleting you because I didn't want you in my me channel, Kyle explained. And I also remember you violently murdering my me, Kyle continued. So you're saying you're a murderer? Maybe, Kyle replied. Listen, Kyle, I may have murdered you and me. But how do you even thought that I did it because I had no other way of handling the situation? No, Kyle responded. Hmm, okay. Did you at least learn not to delete me's? There was a pause. I looked at Kyle as he thought of a response. I eventually started to notice him inching towards me, possibly to grab the Wii Remote out of my hands and delete him. Get back there! I yelled. Kyle went back against the wall. I understood, but I didn't learn. Kyle finally answered. Wow, I thought to myself. 
Kyle understood what Edeled was teaching him, but didn't even care to learn? He just disgusts me now that I heard that. Edeled clearly has the same thoughts that I have, based on what he said next. Oh, okay, so you understood, but you didn't even learn? Listen, Kyle, you may think I'm a murderer, okay, but do you really understand the pain that me's go through when they're deleted? And all this time, you still thought that deleting me was an okay thing to do, and then you start talking about destroying the Wii, as if you want nothing more than for me to rot in hell! Is that what you want? Edelard yelled even louder, and Kyle didn't respond. But... Edelet didn't respond to Kyle's silence. Instead, the environment in the Me Channel just got darker, and Edelet's pupil started to expand to the point where his eyes were just massive black dots. The screen then cut to static, and after a couple seconds, the static cleared up to reveal a small room. The room was very poorly lit, with a small, dangling light bulb hanging from the ceiling. After about 30 seconds of silence between me and Kyle, I heard that unknown voice again. Ah. Hello, Sam. Did I? Yeah, I was the voice said. I looked at Kyle. Do you know what that voice is? I asked. Kyle, being genuinely confused, said no. I have no idea. I've never heard that voice before. It's kind of funny to figure out who I am. Hey, I just sh right now. The voice concluded. We heard mechanical sounding footsteps that seemed to get closer, and from the darkness came another me, but extremely disfigured. This thing was tall, it had the head of a me, and its eyes were also giant black dots. Its jaw was hanging from its head, and its teeth were so sharp to the point where it just looked like lines. The rest of its body was made of metal, as if it was a robot. Its hands were like claws, and its feet were also like claws. It had wires hanging all over its body, and there were sparks flying out of them and everything. I <laughs> me. So, it's called the Corrupted Me, huh? Well, I hoped it would just disappear so I wouldn't have to look at it anymore. Finally, the screen cut to static, and then the screen cut back to Edelin and the Me Channel. The Me Channel has been darker than it ever has been before, and Edelin, this time he looked scared. His pupils were back to normal, but he had an expression that signified worry. And then, the corrupted me walked on screen. He snuck up behind Edelad and covered Edelad's mouth with its hands, and walked away with him, and the camera followed. The corrupted me exclaimed as Edelad was fighting for his life. He was kicking, he was trying to escape, but to no avail. I pointed the Wii Remote at the screen in an attempt to help Adelaide, but wasn't able to interact with anything on screen. Finally, they managed to get to the delete icon. Adelaide then managed to free his mouth from the corrupted me's hands and yelled. But then the corrupted me covered his mouth again. I hope you know that the pain you will experience the most you've ever endured. Such a pain. The corrupt in me exclaimed. I was powerless, unable to do anything but watch as the corrupt in me attempted to shove Edelad into the delete icon. When he finally managed to do so, Edelad was sent off to the hallway, and the corrupt in me disappeared. I looked over at Kyle. He seemed as afraid as I was. He obviously never met the corrupted me before. The screen cut static. Sam, I... I don't know what to say, Kyle said. Before I could respond, though, I was interrupted by an extremely loud screaming sound. 
I looked over at the screen, and the screen was flashing creepy images at a rate that was likely to cause a seizure. Kyle ran up to the Wii. I'm sorry, Sam, but I need to destroy this, Kyle yelled in a hurry. He unplugged the Wii and ran out of my room. Hey, get back here! I yelled. I took the Wii remote with me as I ran after Kyle. He was opening the door to my house and running to the road. I ran faster than I've ever ran in my entire life. But then I realized what Kyle was about to do. He was about to throw the Wii in the damn road, wasn't he? But luckily, as Kyle stopped and raised the Wii above his head to smash it on the ground, I caught up to him. I grabbed the Wii and attempted to pull it out of his hands. Kyle had a really firm grip on the Wii and attempted to pull it back. I then managed to actually pull the Wii out of his hands, but then I felt the Wii and noticed that it was extremely hot, even though it was unplugged. I ran back into my house and slammed the door behind me, but I didn't notice Kyle running up to me and he caught the door just before it slammed shut. He attempted to push the door open and did so. I fell to the ground and Kyle tried to grab the Wii again. I had the Wii remote in my pocket and pulled it out. I then proceeded to smash the Wii remote into Kyle's face repeatedly. I guess he was focused on getting my Wii too much and he didn't notice the Wii remote. He then fell to the ground as I slapped him with the Wii remote several times in the face. Blood then started oozing out of his nose. That's when I stopped. I may have overdone it. As Kyle was wheezing from the pain, I ran back to my room. I shut the door behind me and plugged the Wii back in, and the picture on the screen returned. But what I saw horrified me. Ella was strapped to a table with a rubber mouthpiece in his mouth and two electrodes on the sides of his head. I saw the corrupted me standing over Edeled. Edeled just looked at me but couldn't talk. The corrupted me then walked over to a device next to the table. There was a dial on it, and then the corrupted me proceeded to crank that dial. Edeled was then severely electrically shocked, repeatedly. Once the shocks were done, Edeled tried to scream but was muffled by his rubber mouthpiece. The corrupted me then looked at the camera. Well, okay. just can't tell this channel anymore. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait. It's because I yeah, just we made him for you. Oh. You can't do that. I have knowledge. Now, cure himself. As the corrupted me went to turn the dial on the machine again, I yelled out. Let him go! I yelled. It was around this time that I heard the door open. I saw Kyle standing in the doorway, and he walked in. Sam, I just don't want Edward to do any more harm, Kyle told me. You mean, you don't want the corrupted me to do any more harm? I replied quietly as I looked back at the TV. Kyle looked at the TV also. We saw the corrupted me reach for the dial and cranked it.